Glocks for the Mongols. Starting to creep forward. That's a great start for them then. Dropping floppy, dropping those jewelies. Definitely worth the pickup. Better armor penetration than those Glocks and plenty of bullets just like the Glock. Elise trying to keep an eye on things in mid. He loves this position. Just wait until those buy rounds come out. But for now, it's going to be a little difficult for him. Some good damage done. He'll soften them up, but not going to be consumed just yet by the likes of Complexity. Going for that bomb plot now. And only three players remain for the CT side. Might be a cold start for Complexity in the heat of Ancient. Five on three for the Mongols post plot. They've got the numbers advantage. And that is quite a tight choke point for the remainder of this CT squad. Putting in work though. Look at these frags come through for complexity. They're taking the bomb site. They're so low, Mongols, to hold these angles as that bomb tries to get defused. Just down to Techno now in the 1v1. JT doesn't have a quick kit. Quick peek from Techno. He's got to play this smart. He's got to kill that time, and JT knows that he doesn't have a chance anymore. Mongols will just edge the pistol versus complexity. Techno closes with a quad kill. He will die to a bomb, but he won't care. His aim can be so sharp. He's not normally one of the, the stars, fragging-wise, on this Mongols team. But when he hits his shots, it is headshots often. You saw Elige doing so much work to get them back into that round, though, coming back into the bomb site from a tough position. Nearly got complexity into it. Fortunately, though, with that pistol loss, there won't be much investment into this one. A couple of kills for Elish allows him a dig at least. This should be the Mongols settling in to an early lead here. Elish also a fellow high-end keyboard enjoyer. Had many a conversation about the virtues of having a great keyboard. Best of ones, always dicey at the beginning of a tournament, but so important as well to stay in that W column. There is one flash from JT here. He's setting this up. They might just try and push this smoke and disrupt. There's the surge in the chaos, but Mongols are ready to deal with it. Very well equipped, obviously. A small chance for complexity goes the way it should most of the time. J18, the liege remain then. That Desert Eagle could pick something up. The liege is inviting them to get a little closer. That's going to draw the ire of Mongols now, who enact revenge immediately. 2-0 start, promising, but the real game is yet to begin. Mongols really made a name for themselves at some of the big tournaments earlier this year. Cologne, definitely getting some upset results at Katowice. And they've shown that they can really compete internationally. They play solid Counter-Strike. For the longest time, a lot of the Asian teams would just play wild and scrappy. They're a much more controlled roster in the way they play. It looks like they have an idea early in this round. Complexity are busy fighting mid. They've got to send someone back to, hey, it's wide open right now. Wow, they know Complexity love themselves. Some mid action, some mid control. Grim heading towards that donut position. This is fast. This is efficient from Mongols. Got to get that bomb plant quickly, though, but they will focus on securing that site first. Now, with how fast this was, this does mean that complexity will have utility for the retake. If they can keep the numbers up, Elise dropped through the smoke. The promising post plant for Mongols now in the five versus four. Complexity trying to pinch the bomb site, but they're likely to have some more losses here. So you do wonder. Just pay a note. They are backing off because again, those are very, very tight choke points. And I think this is something we don't see often enough on this A bomb site. It's more of a B bomb site in the difficulty, especially to retake it in scenarios like this. They li likely lose everything on that retake, so they will try to cut their losses, especially not having won the pistol, not having a first round yet. They want to keep as many guns, guns up as they can. Yeah, and sometimes with a crowd behind you, you can actually get a bit tempted into going for those rounds, but that's the, the right call from complexity. Once you lose the first kill, especially, I think when you have the nades and the five on five, you could definitely have a look in. You can try and use your utility to get you one or two early kills, and that can make it way easier, especially if the CTs 
Or Ortiz are playing passively, you can smoke them off, but there, they didn't have those options. So instead, I'll save for this round. Similar start to the round for Complexity, similar start to the round for Mongols, but this time Grim is a fast responder to A. Running it again, I love this. Wow. Beautiful work. Give us the reason to stop doing this, say the Mongols, and Complexity may have to think about that. This time, though, they've got a four on four. Similar choke points, though. A lot of flashes for the Mongols. They may be compelled to give up in a similar fashion. Ozark is lining up some utility, though. Let's see if they go for this fully. Floppy has a swing. JT will save him for a moment, but he goes down eventually. Complexity are going for it this time. There's a traffic jam for Mongols, but it will keep the frags good for them. JT, last man standing now. One versus two. Where's the trade frag? And that bomb is so far ticked. Techno playing the clock. It's to his advantage. And he knows he's won the round now. A 4-0 start for the Mongols. Not a bad effort on the retake there for Complexity, but that time was always going to be an issue, even as the Mongols got uncomfortable with some of those repossessions. They end up just holding it down, and you wonder if Complexity almost felt like they had to go for that retake because they've just saved. It feels silly to save again, but yeah, not easy to get back in on that bomb site. Frustrating start for the CT side, for the home crowd. What's the place to be had, though? I need to quiz Elijah about his wrist rest. It's very rare you see a pro gamer with a wrist rest by their keyboard, but definitely an important thing. Lacking in the beginning, though. I mean, it's what we've seen from Mongols has been great so far. Again, it's so important to hold down that mid position. It requires multiple players. Establishing control around B as well, limiting what the uh, TFAD wants to do. But there's been so much action straight into that A bomb site. The complexity will continue to play their game, as the old saying goes. A different look, though, this time from the Mongols. It looks like Elise has called that out entirely as well, because he's pushed over on A. So he's going to have the early info that it's not that same play. That means JT has to be very aware. He loses that initial duel. Techno off to an excellent start here for the Mongols. You can see Grim falling back from the donut position. So Hulzok will move over to B. And mid will be, I guess, spotted from Red Room at best. Liege catches the lurker now. That's a lot of information for complexity. You wonder what Mongols do now. How much information has been compromised for the squad? They've got a minute on the clock in a four on four. Starting to edge towards this B bomb site then. Grim will be here as will Hallsberg, but can he trade the frag? He can't. Blitz collects two. And that's gonna be a big difference maker now. Elysian floppy remains still looking for their first round. And it's just down to Elysian. Diffuse kick collected. Clutch required. Slowly pressing on then. You can see the difference in the look on his face. He starts to fall back. You can see the frustration as they are still empty handed here. It's a clean sheet for Mongols, pearly white. Can understand Elijah's frustration as well. He made that play when they went down a man to get them back into a four on four and to get them info that that A side was pretty clear. That allowed a three-man B stack, but Complexity not fully on the same page. First player gets one kill, then Grim tries to go through, but he's alone. The timing's not quite right. He ends up just swinging this smoke a little too late. Blitz is able to adjust, and that leaves Floppy alone. He didn't push through the smoke. Grim and Left Floppy combined spot. have zero frags, Ouch. and it's round six. So I don't know what's going on, what's going wrong for Complexity. Mongols are the ones who recently got off the plane. They still have plane food in their digestive system. And they're 5-0. That, that, that is beyond science. Maybe that's the secret this whole time. Who the hell knows? It's a dangerous round. This angle's always a little scary to go into. 5-7s always show promise as well. 
bit of more jiggle to them. Also down to 5 HP, but still alive. Still present to be had. Mongols have got a good spread, though. They're keeping an eye on things. This could get a little dangerous here. As those 5-7s fly around the corner with a leash to clean up afterwards. Look at that snap. Balls back towards the end of the Deagle as well. Wonderful work. Honestly, we saw some pistol rounds earlier where I thought maybe there were too many Deagles, not enough 5-7s on the CT side because you could just be more nimble with them. Up close to armor penetration is brutal. Now Senzu can at least take some rifles away. There are too many complexity players standing at the moment. Good positioning. More work to be done. 20 seconds and two will survive at the end of the run. Those frags are important for the Mongols, but complexity are finally on the scoreboard. That's what they needed. A liege with a couple of big kills and then Looked like Hulzer got the Deagle headshot through his teammate here. This was the first couple from Elise. Well taken. Oh no, it's just through the wall, in fact, from Hulzer. Really quick. And then elsewhere, the CTs still have players on the other side of the map. So the luck from the Mongols completely snuffed out. Let's see if Complexity can build something from that. Hulzer now has that orb. So he'll start on that A site. And that's a good opener from Elise. Maximum Elise in mid. So good in his role for complexity. He's got a sound cue from Floppy. It's a tight fight for both squads though. And Techno might have the advantage. Then again, maybe not a leash helping clean up as well. Complexity coming to life late in this first half. This is wiped so much money. How about that? Night and day between these rounds. No bomb plant. Money's rough for Mongols now, and Complexity can really mount a significant comeback. They've got three AKs on the CT side. And now you see why Complexity were committing those players into mid early. If the T's try and charge their way through mid, it's generally pretty good for the CTs, those fights. You see there, Elige able to get that initial kill. He's given so much freedom on this team, and it's honestly been great to see. Elige back to his best. I wonder how Elise focuses with a big <laughs> flag of his own head in the crowd, like in his peripheral vision. He's in his own vision. That's so bizarre. Would you get distracted by your own head? Um, probably. Narcissist. <laughs> Unbelievable. Uh, it was actually in Columbus where I was walking down the short north and bumped into somebody who was holding a massive printout of my head. <laughs> Well, Mongols buy what they can, but it is limited here. This is a great chance for Complexity to build a good streak. Rim lets the first man buy, but he goes back for seconds. And he gets both of them out of there, but that A site is under threat right now. Complexity don't have control here. Yeah, this is fully compromised. I wonder what Techno's role is. He's got rifles to collect in mid if he can make it there. We'll see what Complexity do in the meantime. They are cutting the numbers before this bomb is planted, and Senzu may feel frozen in this position. Techno went from a Gilil to an AK-47. Senzu goes for some pre-fire. Got to be careful of this angle because Hulzak is waiting for him. Power of the AWP on the retake. Techno in the clutch now. Maybe it's about damage. Maybe it's about the round. One versus four. Trying to isolate the fight for faces too. Complexity stand with four at the end of the round. Reducing the deficit by one more. Yeah, nice to see Grim getting a, a couple of important kills from Donut. We saw him get caught out in that position previously. It's a really important pressure position to hold from. If you are that A player playing in Donut, you can't give that up for free. And then Complexity rotate in and they let the site go, but they just wait for any further aggressions. They know that the Mongols might feel uncomfortable being down a man. Bullzerk gets a couple of kills because of that patience. Really well controlled by Complexity. You now have three in a row. And they force Mongols down to pistols. Time to take control. Showing presence again. Very tough task to be successful in this position. JT is the man for the job.
on goals. Need to keep the CT spending. For the few rounds that remain in this half. Might be a tall order though. Elysian a driving seat now. Nine frags for him. Leading on the kill count. Such a good angle. No, it's Atlanta, but you don't want to show your ass to Halzak. And Zeno and Senzu, the last two. Great work from Halzak, just falling back. So good with a P250 as well. They'll be happy with that. That's perfectly fine. Three surviving. The gap close to one now. Mongols on the buy once again. Need to see if they can wrestle control of mid away from Elige. Won't be easy though. And the money shows you how easy the last couple of rounds have felt for complexity. Got a good bit of money in the bank now. Elige given a lot of freedom, doesn't always have to play mid. He's going to go there this time. Meanwhile, only one CT left on B. They're trying to get active elsewhere, but that means Floppy's left alone. A lot of pressure on him in this round as Mongols are ready to pounce. You would have heard that util in mid. I wonder if there is a giveaway a clue to this. At least trying to get active, but Floppy will drop Senzu and stay alive. Cavalry is on the way. Elise is here. That's going to be a problem. Four on two for complexity, just as the bomb tries to get planted. And it will. This will be a difficult hold for Mongols. And Zeno making plays around the Molotov. Down 27 HP as Blitz. Surely his days are numbered. There's no one to cover his back. He's holding down multiple jobs, multiple angles here. But here comes a flashbang. The swing will fail. And Zeno is in a one versus four now. It's a good effort, but the trade is there. Too many man on road for complexity. Yeah, Floppy not left in an easy position there, but he was able to get round to the other side that wasn't smoked off. He just got that one kill, and that makes sure that he's still a threat. That means the Mongols aren't maybe as aware of some of the other positions. Makes that retake a lot easier. Not an easy position when you're left as that solo anchor on a site, but Floppy did exactly what he needed to do. Five in a row for complexity. What a turnaround this has been. Time for the Mongols to wake up then. Not too many challenges in mid. I feel like if they do go mid, and they win that area, they probably win the round. The question is, do you want to take that risk versus a complexity who are very comfortable defending that mid position? It will be a war of attrition. You know they're ready to push through B and support as well. They've often just gone for that surge into the B bomb site with mixed results at best. The utility challenge. Here we go. See, you fight for mid, you take it, five on three. But they're fighting back, immediately aggressive towards that A bomb site. I don't know if two players were identified there, but the bomb's rotating over towards B immediately. Yeah, those nades from complexity wipe the smokes, but Mongols were there prepared. Still opportunities, but these smokes make life so difficult for the Orc to know what's going on. Floppy decides he has to come help. In fact, the entire team on the right side of the map, the Mongols are taking their time to get that bomb down. Looks like they'll finally try and punch in the digits, though. Without a kill here, Complexity have a really hard retake on their hands. They've got money, though. I think they might as well go for this. JT was being entertained for a time by Blitz, who was lurking in that red room. But he's rotating all the way back, but JT still wondering if someone's behind him. Floppy saw two, Halzak drops one. And there goes the second one, just Halzak in the clutch. No, oh. they still face him. Blitz the last man. Oh, he was so close. He was so close. That was terrifying. Maximum Halzak on the server. Not enough this time though for Mongols. He's getting kills while blind. He's getting kills through smokes. Doing all he could to make that round winnable. But had to push through at the end. Blitz was waiting. As those first fights. They got one back, but still great shots here. Hulzerk tried his best. Oh my that word. Absurd. Must have just caught a glimpse of him. That was a lightning strike. 
Last round of the half, complexity similar mid play. This time not challenged. So the CTs will hold mid this time. That gives JT confidence in his position as well. Mongols seem pretty happy to give up this map control. Now they're gonna fight for it, but Floppy wins his duel. That allows JT to get into advanced position here. Rare miss from Hulzak. Are the Mongols really happy? Just exceeding all this B control, trying their luck elsewhere? It looks like they might be right now. I think their choices have been taken away to some degree. They may have to pull rotation and hope that Techno catches someone if they're successful in this mid position because the Liege is in trouble. What is the response from JT and Floppy? Techno will take one. That's good info for the T-Squad. Three on three, 45 seconds, it's okay. But I know that Grim's got some sound cues. He knows they've passed towards Red Room and they're going straight into the hands of Hulzak. He saw a waste, he knows there's one more. He is absolutely up for battle sniper mode. That leaves the bomb carrier Blitz alone, but he's found Grim playing a dirty angle. Orb versus Orb continues, but this will slow down rotation as well. And now Blitz is alone. Seems it was his teammate, the one that was being baited there. That leaves Blitz in the clutch then. Clock is ticking. Both CTs of a kit. Again, he needs to find a 1v1. Ulzak on the way. You know he scoped it already. Floppy running distraction. And there's Ulzak. While Floppy stuck behind the smoke. Goes straight through. And that will be one more round for Mongols. 7-5 at half time. They are here to fight.
resurgence from complexity was not enough to lead at halftime. Mongols take seven rounds into the CT side. And a pair of Julies into this pistol. In the hands of Techno, the raid boss for the CTs. I'll be a P250 for Halsa. Can one for Elyse as well. Elyse will be the raid boss. That added range for the one shots in this pistol round could be crucial. Loves himself some mid-action. And maybe he'll get some if these CTs push through B. But the focus will be on the A bomb sites. And Emzina will have a lot to do. That's a promising start catching Halsa off guard. Grenades start to come in from both squads. Counter utility will cause some problems. MC no good for second, looking for a third one. More flashes. Does he have the bullets though? Not on this occasion. Floppy with two before he is dropped to the floor as well. Three on two now. Make it three on one. JT versus the world. He's got the P250. The range is equal, but does he have the frags? Carrying the bomb as well. Good pre fire. Mongols are. Playing as safe as they can. He will be the initial engage. Looks like it'll be Senzu. Great tap from JT though. He's not with, done with this one yet. 50 seconds. So many things he could do now. Still getting the 1v1s, but with 14 HP. How many times does he reveal himself? Ozzy has to walk if he wants to fake the drop back. Means that the Mongols don't know if he has repositioned. And JT might have got the right read here that the Mongols would stick together. He still wants to catch a rotation though with 25 seconds left. The time is going to start to really go against him here. Doesn't look like the Mongols want to budge yet though. Even a bomb plant would be good, but if he gets it down in time, he's got a real chance at this still. Well, they're going for the split. 10 seconds. Time to get your skates on. Got the sound cues for one. But what of the other one? Senzu on the way. He's made it doable, JT. He's got to be quick. He's got to have good timing. Oh, it's, he's both of them. He's still alive somehow, though. Dancing round the pillar. Down to four HP, but not quite a good effort. A noble effort, but a big round for Mongols. I love the way JT played that. The way he got that first kill over on the other side was... Incredible. The fact that he just shows enough of his shoulder, goes back, knows that someone will try and peek him and try and fight with the team. And he's done well to at least get a bomb plant there. Big credit to Mazzino, though, and Senzu fighting ahead of this smoke. They just stalled out on that site for so long. It allowed a big rotation. Mazzino landed some really sharp shots as well. That is now the Mongols picking up both pistols here. They got off to a great start in the last half, but this time, they've got a force by coming right at them. That's a mega force by <sighs> Blitz. Gave a kill Ooh. away. Wow, Dream is collapsing real quick. This has turned into a nightmare immediately. Complexity with these rifles always showed promise, and boy, has that promise delivered. Scorched Earth on Ancient. Nothing really for 9-10 to do here. He is surrounded, though. He's so screwed. Oh, maybe oh. not. Okay. <laughs> wow, he didn't get a kill there. <laughs> Respect to Floppy. Nice work. When I saw all those rifles come through, you knew they were going to deliver. Oh, check out that guy in the, in the, in the back <laughs> left there. That <laughs> guy. Just mean mugging. Oh, that's a massive round, though. Massive round for complexity. The CT economy gets put in shambles if you win the pistol and lose the follow-up round. And if complexity lost that, they were going to fall so far behind. Instead, the Mongols have to force here. If they lose this round, they're going to be put on the back foot in this half, and Elise starting to take over on mid. Back-to-back -back rounds where he gets an opener. Yeah, this is a great way to supercharge your momentum on the D side, 9-10. Oh, it might be 9 one once for complexity if this continues. Techno, the last one though, with that 5-7, looking for more. Those guns are a little far away from him. They'll be forced into the light. Oh, Grim doesn't quite fancy it. I think get an upgrade here. I need you to be left in position. Looking for something, and he'll finish off the job. That was... Scary for a moment. The wheels keep turning for complexity and a Mongol's economy is in the trash.
Yeah, it's real bad. This is a great opportunity for Complexity to try and come through with a, a streak on this T side. It's what they need. Upside for Complexity is they have a higher win percentage on the T side on this map. They are very much still in with a good chance here. And the Mongols have had to win four of their rounds from 1vx situations. What if their rounds have come close? If they can keep that up. Grim holding. This should be easy picking. Still nice for Grim to get some kills on the board, though. Get him warmed up ahead of the gun rounds. Basically bowling for those frags. Wow, what a dire way to start your next buy round. <coughs> Famas for Techno. Sacrifices made perhaps to furnish an AWP. The utility might be good enough. Not much in the way of incendiaries though. So this is quite lacking for Mongols. And the loss here would be quite concerning for the squad. That tea smoke early. Little luck smoke up. They found a gap in it and that's going to allow them to get onto the site quickly. Space has been created real fast. They've almost cut the bomb site in half like it's over past B. Techno coming through with the FAMAS. Nothing doing and they're taking heavy damage at the back as well. Shock and awe. They were barely on the server for that round. And the North American crowd is very happy with that. They're getting hyped. All that <laughs> looks happy. And that was such a cool round. I don't think I've seen that smoke used before, but you see that it basically cuts off the entire side, except for that slight angle that Complexity are just holding. Yeah, I feel like the Mongols weren't ready for it. They bit as well. Yeah. They just kept fighting behind that smoke and they kept getting caught. Stuff like that that makes me fall in love with this Complexity team even more. Like they're one of the most innovative teams we have right now. Ouch. It's a great way to have a decisive win in a swing round as well. Put the Mongols in the bin once again. You also just see the confidence of the leech. Like he's running at any fight he can get. I think that's what he needed. Yeah, I can't think of a leech in a better role than he's in right now. So fun to watch. Such a smart player also. Pressure on for the Mongols. Complexity running away with this now. Five in a row. And if the Mongols lose this gun round, they are very close to losing their opening match here. I was wondering how long before the USA charts came out. I know, I feel like if, I, if my team was playing an international team, you could shout TSA, you know, because they're going <laughs> sure. back to the airport, right? <laughs> Eventually. Second option. Oh, Complexity have thrown that same Lurk Smoke out to the B site, but they're not following up on it this time. Trying to fake that presence again, and maybe they're going to send it onto A instead. Will they be able to get 9-10 off this angle? That is a fantastic flashback. And indeed, they will forced him from his position. Heavy rotation from Mongols. But they are stuck in a very tight choke point. Once they've lost that angle, what is left for them? Because you know the spray is going to be coming. And again, oh, MZ, you know, catches two. He's made this doable. I thought that was going to be the end of the round, but he had something to say about it. Pre-fire won't catch a liege with his 9 HP. Ready to stand and fight. So much pre-fire from Senzu. But when he see a liege over the top, doesn't seem so. And he might catch himself with two. You make it a two versus one for a team, and that might be enough. Send to a 15 HP. This would be a miracle to find a way to win this round. There is the bomb. Where's the gun? He tried to switch out for another rifle, and uh, things just went from bad to worse. Running out of guns, running out of ideas, running out of teammates, running out of health. Love some of these ideas from Complexity. They try and fake that B lurk smoke again. They go A. And then they have that deep smoke in Donut. Normally you'd smoke towards the front or a lot of teams smoke towards the front. The smoking deeper meant that the Mongols 
were awkwardly stuck ahead of the smoke, but there's not that many angles you have to be worried about. The Mongols have to decide, do we want to fight together or sit back? It was all very uncomfortable for them. James IRL has been working out, man. Jesus, look at, yeah, look at, know, this, right? look at this guy. Look at this guy. What a chiseled specimen behind complexity. Love to see him here on the land as well. Nice chap. Great effort there from Mzino, but not to be complexity and ancient. They are definitely fans. 43% with 14 maps played recently, but I feel like they're better than those statistics suggest. 11 to 8, the MP9s are coming out for Mongols as it becomes more urgent for them in this second half. Damn. Trying to beat Elise on mid is just not a good idea. As necessary as it might be, you are going to lose. Elise just run over onto the A site. This man is not being stopped right now. He's not even needed though. Grim gets another kill. This has been a complete NA takeover in this second half. Seven in a row for complexity. They've caught fire and the Mongols can't do anything to stop them. Nothing to be taken into the next round for Mongols. That is a very happy crowd with the proceedings so far. Just one more round then. We haven't even got enough seats anymore. Love that. What a way to come to life. Complexity delivering the goods on Ancient. Job's not done yet, but it's looking pretty damn good. And again, Elise winning every fight on mid. But the other point is JT is second top fragger right now. South Africa. And when they had their run at Sydney, JT was the difference. Finally, Elise falls at mid. That's what the Mongols have been waiting for. Big swing and a big frag to get as well. 22 frags for Elise. And then there were three, but look at the urgency from Mongols. They're not done with this game just yet, but it's still clutchable by the likes of Floppy and Horzak. Horzak, it will be then, AK-47 for him. Minute 25, trying to get this bomb planted before the CTs are in position. 910 creeping through the smoke and Horzak's got the angle already, but 910 will be faster. A ninth round for Mongols, not far behind, but again, their margin for error is nil. That first fight they win against the Liege is just so important there because you saw the complexity players were about to push from B and about to wrap up above. And if a Liege survives a little longer, you've got both angles to contend with and then the CTs are going to feel strangled. But instead, they win that first fight. They can focus back up above. And that allows them to win the early trades. Even though complexity still had chances in the two on three, they couldn't win those follow-up fights they needed. So the Mongols finally pick up another CT round. That's their first since winning the CT pistol. It's got to be so hard for them. Complexity have got full buys for days. Even after the buy, JT's got 11k in the bank. Oh, that's Ooh. a good HE. It's the HE of promise. You've got to follow up behind that high explosive. Take note. Starts off well. Gets his second 1v1. And the bomb site has been cleared. They've got control of the bomb also. A Legion Hallzerk remain. 2v5 can be done. Unlikely to be done, but it can be. Mongols still have to be careful. Don't give too much too easily. Still unlikely. But one kill gifted. I don't think the Mongols will give up much more. They know they have the bomb. Plenty more utility as well. Follow-up smoke could be deployed just to deny Hallzerk options. And elsewhere, Elige falls. Oh, careful now. There's no reason for them to save. The more CT frags they get, the better. Only one bullet in this orc. Oh, dear. Outstanding. There we go. Four standing at the end of the round. A 4K for Techno 4K. Two rounds behind now. Big props to Techno there. When playing on that anchor position on the site, he lets this one player go by, but he figures, I just need to cut off the source. I need to cut off these players coming up through the ramp. 
Even if someone gets past, he lets his teammate deal with that problem because he knows that Molly is down. He can just make sure they're cut off at that choke point. That made all the difference. And now just two rounds in it, but a lead back to mid and back to winning ways on that first fight. Have a look at these flashes. Mid control is a problem again. Oh, Techno with big regrets there. Nowhere to go. You do wonder if this might be the end of the line now. Complexity are all over this round. They can do whatever they like. They've got full map control. Nothing's been contested now by Mongols. Not what remains of them anyway. They've got to take big gambles to stay alive on Ancient. Complexity more than happy to take their time. Make sure everyone is on the same page. Even if they run into a stack, if they manage it well, they should be okay, but they've lost their first player. Smoke finally comes in, 9-10. See what he can do to fight through it, help his teammates. Oh, look at the read though, complexity. Have they figured this out? They're all backing off. This could be heard though by Enzino, and the CTs can get there faster. It's a foot race. They can get there faster. The AWP can get into position faster. They've got such good info. That's a great flick. And Grim suddenly is alone. He's only got two bullets left and two CTs to catch, and they won't do it. They had the audio cues. They had the position. They had the skates to get there faster, and they had the guns to shut it down. That is a window of opportunity missed by complexity. And this Mongols team looks so calm under pressure. That's the first fight. And then 9-10 gets back in time. The second shot isn't easy. Tight angle. Repeats at the right time to get the shot off, to not allow the site to crumble, and to force complexity to play for one final round to try and win in regulation. After a start like that in mid, that was so close to over. Gamb gambles were taken. Mongols made the right play. Speaking of the right play, again, they know they're util to avoid these orb angles. A 9-10 will be smoked off. Oh, that was a close one. So many targets, but no connection. Counter-strike can be cruel, but Blitz is here for two. An unfortunate jump by Floppy, and he tries to control the space now. Bombs on the floor. Elise over the top, but Senzu is here. Where are we going, Hawker? It seems it might be overtime. JT needs a clutch of his career to stop this from continuing. Not meant to be. Overtime. Four for Mongols in a row. Credit to them. Against the home crowd, against the odds, with that three on five. Complexity will want that round back. But again, we've seen the Mongols, despite being such a young team, deal with the pressure. He was standing on him, but didn't know. <laughs> I think Blitz getting to the back of the site there is all the difference. You see that position Molly pretty often, but Complexity go for pace instead. And now they've got to come through in overtime. Big run boost. Nice head up top, and they're out Oh my days! What? What did I just witness? Man spinning like a flipping Dalek from Doctor Who. We're down to a three on three. Techno swinging, dropping Hallside, but the trade is here for Floppy. Someone's got to go back and collect that bomb. Senzu in position. Mzino has got to be running to this bomb site as fast as possible. They are lining up now. He needs to stay alive. Floppy gets his bell rung. That's a big headshot and a great follow up from Senzu. What was that AWP shot in mid? That is madness. His teammates are meant to be holding that angle so that he can peek up top, down towards B. Instead, his teammates aren't holding it, so he has to do this. Bro, spin to win. Oh. <laughs> Ludicrous. Wow. You're not going to do that many times in your career. That's for sure. That is a highlight frag. Mongols suddenly in the lead. There's surely no way Complexity loses this, right? Surely. With all those game points in normal time. 9-10 dropped early in mid. Blitz still holding things down for now. It will surely feel brittle, though. Oh, 
Oh, JT with the spam. And now it's a clean five on three. Then again, complexity have been here before. This round is not confirmed until they can get it over the line. Blitz is creeping with the big green gun because someone's got to make a difference here. Someone's got to make a play. Oh, it doesn't hit a sound cues in time, JT. And Blitz is able to take one and fall back. Now the numbers are dwindling for complexity. There's still one to the good. Mzino still rotating, but he might go straight oh. into his arms because they're running away from that orb. Is he going to get the angles? He's seen some big info. He can hold from long. There's time for Blitz to rotate with the orb as well. 36 seconds for that bomb to get planted. He won't get to Donut in time if he chooses to go that way. And Horsak is posted up in a great angle. Again, missing a swing upwards. And Mzino, they might line up for him. It's a big swing and Elish will drop him. Nali's Blitz now in a 1v1 as he drops Horsak. 15 HP. How could he possibly find the angles versus Elish into Donut? He goes. Such a secure position for him. Blitz has a kit. Does he realize where Elish is? This is killing a lot of time. He's got to touch that bomb to draw him out. Deploys the flashbang, goes to it, but Elish peaks in time. And the score's tied once again. Complexity's main man, Elish, there for them when they need a round. Every clutch up until that point had gone the way of the Mongols. That's a 1v1 that goes the way of complexity. There's the spam through from JT, giving them such a big advantage. And Elish heard the flash coming in, knew he could peek as the player was about to try and get on the bomb. <laughs> and boom, gets the round win. So finally, Complexity put a stop to that streak. Still more to do for them. And again, the Mongols just never show any reactions. They're a very level-headed team. It doesn't feel like either team is in control right now. And I love that. Winnable by either squad. Opening match of... Dreamhack Atlanta for Complexity and the Mongols. Twenty-seven frags for Elige now. Perhaps not enough just yet. Heavy damage for Complexity at the beginning of this round. And it continues with the Molly. Techno saying hello, dropping Hulzak. Not sure if they can respond to this. Elige taking big nade damage oh. as well. Look at this push through the smoke from Techno. Wild swings, but JT's ready for it. Hoping to catch the man reloading. Instead, sent out to his death. The Mongols still with so many players on B, but do they want info here? Oh, this boost up. Do they expect a player so close behind this smoke? Senzu decides to slip back. Foppy can't find him. One smoke comes into the site. Complexity testing the waters, but they don't have to commit with that. Mongols are set on this B-bomb site. They believe and the player is coming this way. Elijah just lurking, looking for a push. We've seen brazen pushes, disrespectful pushes from Mongols in this round so far. But are they committed to this bomb site? Mongols are waiting for them with the utility they have remaining. There's Grim with the bomb, JT. So this fight might win everything. Blitz back to pull out some util, but that 2k surely secures a lead at half time here. Floppy desperately trying to claw things back as the util will be deployed into the hands of 910. He goes, and there's not much for a liege to do but drop to the floor. 14 to 13, Mongols lead by one. But it's tense for both sides, and you can see that on the cameras. Yeah, without that mid control there, I think complexity. Didn't have the ability to play between the sites like they were maybe hoping. It looked like Mzinho had pretty good info on mid and was going to spot them if they rotated in through that position. So that's why the Mongols keep so many players on this bomb site. Blitz with that double lineup makes all the difference. Complexity got to dig deep here then. Down by one, but still in it. 9-10 holding, but Grim with the wide swing wins the fight against the orb. Wow, I don't know where that CT smoke went, but they got what they were looking for. A strong start in this round. Four on three then for complexity. 
disengaged from mid for the time being. How will the Mongols respond? Moving forward towards Red Room is Blitz carrying the bomb as well. He'll have to be real careful. I think he'll be holding position for now. You can hear Grim jump peeking, but Grim's got his gun out. That's a close fight. They show the bomb, and now they have a lead. Who's like? In Donut with the AWP as Blitz falls back down the other end of mid. Surely he's got the sound cues. But what can they really do with them with only two players remaining? Floppy getting into position. A good angle, but a better snap from Senzu. Some of these shots are stunners from the Mongols. Two players low and Hulzerk looks like he knew it there. Had the pistol out briefly. Has utility as well. Can he predict these positions? This is so hard, even with the low health players. That reveals the position. Everybody knows where he is. Blitz waiting to swing on contact. There it is. Senzu. We get that final kill and suddenly Mongols are in full control. Two map points for the Mongols. Complexity had their chances in regulation. It almost sounds like the home crowd is quiet now. When Complexity kind of need to hear some noise to claw this back. They need something. And look at Mongols. Everyone out to be early. Is this an early commit from them? Complexity on high alert. They are ready to bolster defenses of this bomb fight, at least from that mid position. Floppy's alone round the back. He's trying to buy time for the squad, JT. He needs to decide which area he wants to defend. And here come the numbers streaming in now. Floppy with a tall order. One for one. Down he goes, four and four then. Mongols into the bomb site. Complexity on the rotation. Coming around the back, Elise drops. Three on three. JT looking for the wall bangs. Complexity must win this round to survive. They've got Util. They can cut off some of these choke points if they can get the angle, but Blitz is really causing them some problems. JT biding his time. Can they find the angles for this Util? There's a swing from Blitz, but he comes up MC handed. Then there was one MC no versus three. The retake is complete for complexity. They're here for at least one more round. Not yet, say complexity. Floppy goes one for one on the site and they set up the retake well. Mongols wanted to fight. They didn't just want to sit back. Even swinging into mollies, into flames to try and fight. Complexity one away from another overtime. Big kills from Grimm. That first one was huge. And wow, Hulzerk has to shoot through his teammate, but the reaction shot is there. Complexity storming down mid once again. No challenge from Mongols. Focus around B. JT again in a forward position. Business as usual. Look at the exchange of Util as well. You wouldn't dare try and challenge that if you're Mongols. You want to keep your HP. Complexity making all their initial plays. It almost seems like Mongols were waiting for it. They know the pop flash is coming. I'll try to punish JT for his swing. Stressful opening matchup for both of these two in this group here at Challenger Atlanta. Complexity. Maybe thinking of making moves down towards B. The Mongols players could get caught by this smoke up. They will be aware, but Sensu blinded. He needs assistance. Floppy spams him down, but only one foul. They fight back into a three on three. It's a game changer. The lurker towards A drops by complexity. Someone's got to rotate and pick up that bomb though. Elysia alone on the B bomb site. There's so much spread for complexity. They're spread very thin. Does anyone make a daring play? Ulzak might with the AWP in a donut position. Bomb collected by Blitz. 30 seconds on the clock. Almost no util for complexity. They would love a smoke or an incendiary here, but they've got nothing to hold down this bomb site. Whereas the Mongols can control these angles. Those flashes will be key, but Elysia standing here. He needs a multi-frag, but Blitz with the 180. 
leaves Hallsberg in the clutch for survival in this best of one. He's got so much work to do. Unbelievable 180 from Blitz, and it might just win them the game. Indeed, it will. Mongols squeak past all those game points in normal time, and in overtime, will secure their victory straight off the plane, straight into the action, and straight into that W column. What a win from the Mongols. Having to come through into overtime. We talked about how this team always needs to stay so.